Hello ladies and gentlemen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a very basic app that allows you to navigate between different screens using buttons. You can see in the example I have on the screen here, I already have three screens set up. Each screen is a different color and each screen has a single button. And the button should take the user to the next page. You can see that screen one is here green with a blue button. Screen two is purple with a yellow button and screen three is green with a purple button. And I can use, use the pan screen icon here in the top right to bring all of these into view. Now, when I run this app using web preview, it opens up on screen one. And if I click the next page button, it switches to page two or screen two. And then when I click that button, it switches to screen three. When I click this button, it moves back around to screen one. So let's have a look at how I achieved this with code. Let me exit web preview here. So we're looking back at my three screens and the app is no longer running. The first thing I did was I added extra screens by clicking the plus icon here at the top of the screen. So when I started the app, I only had one screen. By clicking that plus icon, you can add additional screens to your app. So if I click on the plus icon here, you can see it's added another screen, screen four. And if we look on the far left hand side in the component tree, you can see I've got screen one, screen two, screen three, and now screen four. But I don't want to use screen four, so I'm just going to click on it once so it's highlighted and I'll click on the trash can to delete screen four from the project. It's going to say, are you sure you want to do that because the change can't be undone? I am sure. So I'll click delete and now I'll bring my three screens back into view. So if I click on screen one and I click on blocks, you can see the code here. Um, shows that I have two separate blocks doing two separate things. So the first one says when screen one opens, do navigate to screen one. Now this block's really important because if I don't have this in the project, when I run the app, if let's say I run the app when I'm looking at screen three, it will automatically start on screen three. And I don't want that. I always want it to start on screen one. So when I run this app now, it opens on screen one. But if I remove that block, so if I just disconnect this for a minute so it no longer works and I go to screen three. Now remember that screen three is green with the purple button, right? Screen one is blue. So when I run this web preview, it opens up on screen three because that's the one I was currently looking at and working in. And I don't want that to happen. So if I just exit web preview, go back to screen one, and go to my blocks. What I'm going to do is just delete this code and I'll show you how I created it. So in screen one in the UI components, I'm going to click on screen one so it's highlighted in blue. And the first block there is when screen one opens. So that basically means when the app starts for the first time. So when screen one opens, do. Now I need to go to the core blocks and pick control and I'll select navigate to, and I'll drag and drop that into that block. So when screen one opens, do navigate to screen one. So that means that whenever you run this app, it will always open on screen one, even if you're looking at a different screen when you're in the designer. The next bit of code, let me delete this for a moment and I'll redo it. If I click on the next button here, we've got the first block, of our list of options and it says when next button one click do so I'll drag that in so when the next button is clicked I need to do something so again I'll go to the core blocks and I'll pick control and I'll say navigate to and it says screen one at the minute but obviously I want this to move on to screen two so I'll just click on screen one and select two from the drop down menu there we go and then I would go into screen two and I would click on next button two again, and I would drag this block 
here into the window. I don't need to do it because it's already there. So when next button two is clicked, do navigate to screen three. And it's exactly the same block for screen three here. Uh, when next button three is clicked, do navigate to screen one. So it just rotates back around to the first screen. So when we run this app, it opens up on screen one. I click on next page and it rotates through. So let's see how to do that from scratch then. Let's add to my screens. So if I just exit using the web preview button um, out of the, uh, the running app and go to the designer, um, we've got screen one, screen two, and screen three. So let me hit the plus icon again, and I've added another screen. On the far right hand side, um, you can see there's some options for the screen. I'm going to change the background color to, let's say, a light red there, kind of a, a pinky red. And now I'm going to drag a button from the left hand side of the screen, just below the component tree. We've got all the different things that we can add to our uh, user interface. So I'll drag a button onto this user interface and uh, I'm just going to leave that as blue. But uh, if I wanted to, I could change the color by changing the options on the right hand side panel. So we've got the text color here. If you scroll down, you've got style, you've got the background color of the button. So I'm just going to, um, I'll just check bold to make the writing bold. And um, for the button text here, I'm going to just put next page. There we go. So it just says oh, the same thing as the other buttons. And I just press enter and you can see the text has changed now. Um, I can change the name of the button as well at the very top because in my um, other screens, the next button is always called next button one, two and three. So I'm just going to change that and I'll call that next button, uh, the capital just like the others, next button four. It's always a good idea to name your components so that when you're looking at them in the component tree, you know what they do. Otherwise, if you've just got things called button one, two, three, four, um, you lose track of what they're all doing. So I'll press enter to rename that button. Um, and now I'm going to go back to screen three and I'm going to go to the blocks and rather than make um, that button go back to screen one, I'm going to make it link to screen four. Now it's not actually in the list at the minute. So what I'll do is I'll just drag that out. I'll go back to control and I will drag in navigate to again. And you can see now that that list has been refreshed. Now there's four options. So if you don't see that fourth option uh, or your new option, however many screens you have um, in the list, just drag the block out and bring it in again to refresh the list. So I'll pick screen four here. Now go back to screen four and I need to do the same thing. So in the UI components, you can see I'm on screen four here, click on the next button. And then when next button four is clicked, do, Go to control, navigate to, and then screen one, because this is where it's going to go back round to the start. So now when I run this program, run my app, again, it opens up on screen one because that's what we told it to do with our first bit of code. Click on next page, screen two, next page, screen three, next page, screen four, and then next page back around to screen one. And that's it. That's how you add navigation to your apps using buttons. It's really, really simple. So why don't you try that for yourself and see if you can get it working?